The partnership element of Operation Park Safe is very important to us. We work um, in conjunction with Birmingham City Council. Uh, they're the ones who suggest the school locations that we visit in order to do um, Operation Park Safe and Operation Safe for Schools, which are uh, two operations that concentrate on the safety of children coming in and out of the school gates and on the school run. Um, it's been very beneficial. That, that targeting that they give us, the, the key locations, enables us to have the biggest impact we can have for the amount of resources we can allocate to the operation to the point where at some schools, um, the local neighbourhood teams have reduced the volume of calls they get about the parking issues by up to 83%. And once we've introduced the tactics to the local neighbourhood team and trained them up how to do it. Our work with the Birmingham Road Safety Partnership is also vital. Um, they emphasise the, the way that we work with Birmingham City Council and how we led by Birmingham City Council in, in where we target and why we target certain schools um, to the point where they now want other local authorities to work in the same way with ourselves. Um, it's something they're eager to see rolled out across the whole of the West Midlands region um, and it would just be us upskilling local neighbourhood policing teams in these kind of tactics that we use. Um, that have shown to change driver, driver behaviour considerably when we introduce them and they then can have the same successes that Birmingham City Council have had working with ourselves in this way. So social media is a, a huge part of what we do also. Um, in fact at times it can play a more important role than the actual enforcement we do. Um, again all on a partnership basis the social media aspect of it. We work heavily with our corporate comms department um, and what we tend to highlight through social media is when we've had a successful operation, we pick specific instances that will trigger or change driver behaviour. Um, for example, at one particular school in Birmingham, we um, stopped a driver who had driven only 0.2 miles to the school gate from where he lived. Um, he drove uninsured and with four unbelted children in the car. That subsequently cost him, you know, upwards of, once he's been to court and been dealt with, £1,500, possibly in fines. Um, up to six points on his license and then he's got to get his car back and get it insured. A massive cost to him. It's those sort of things we can put out on social media that really do change driver behaviour and act as a deterrent. And also we tend to put out, you know, the amount of people that we've caught, you know, on that particular uh, same operation, in 45 minutes we had 51 offences of unbelted children. Now that was a specifically, you know, one of the worst schools in the region had been highlighted to us by our partners at Birmingham City Council. That's why we went there. Um, but again, it's a massive driver when it comes to influencing you know, other parents' behaviour right the way across the region. And just to emphasise how important social media is, we, we work with the premise of it. It's not what we're actually doing, it's what people think we're doing is important. That fear of constant prosecution is a real driver when it comes to changing driver behaviour and keeping our community safer on the road. Um, especially when you're working with the local authority uh, around schemes such as Motive Stars and you really want parents and pupils to feel safe to use active travel on the way to school. Um, when they see that you're putting this stuff out on social media and the mainstream media, because the mainstream media picks up on everything through social media nowadays, um, it really does spread the message. We also are a very well connected um, team in that we have a large amount of academics who study what we do and the reasons why we do it. Um, we're very well connected all around the country um, with other road safety groups and leading figures in road safety such as the Road Harm Reduction Team and the All Parliamentary Cycling Committee and they constantly retweet what we do or you know uh, share it on Facebook in exactly the same way. You can't get that sort of reach. We know at the stage as a team, our department, if, if we use mainstream media as, as well, we're disappointed if we don't hit 20 million people in the first two days of one of our campaigns. Um, so that's the sort of reach that we're looking at and the sort of reach we can bring in partnership to our local authorities as well.